A very good afternoon to one and all. I am Dr. Ankita Pandey, Junior Resident, Department of Radio Diagnosis, JNMCH AMU, and I am presenting a case on glomus tumor of the ring finger. A 37-year female came to our department, and she was having complaint of pain and tenderness in left ring finger tip. She was also complaining of small swelling, and over that small swelling, she was having tenderness. Uh, the, uh, his her ultrasound and color doctor imaging were done. On ultrasound, we saw a small heteroechoic lesion measuring near about four into three mm uh, in dimensions, and the lesion was located uh, at the uh, dist uh, in between the uh, nail bed and the uh, uh, distal phalanx at the dorsal aspect. Um, in the ring finger of left hand and on color doppler uh, the lesion was showing significant vascularity so possibility of glomus tumor was kept contrast enhanced MRI was advised for further evaluation her MRI was done and on T1 weighted imaging, we saw that the lesion was appearing hypointense. It was located near uh, distal phalanx at the dorsal aspect of the fourth digit. And on axial sections, we saw that the lesion was in between the nail bed and the uh, distal phalanx. On PD sequence, we saw that the lesion was appearing hyper intense. On axial imaging, uh, it was clear that the lesion was located in between the nail bed and the distal phalanx. It was extending, the lesion was also extending laterally into the palmar aspect. And uh, contrast was given. And on contrast in enhanced imaging, we saw that the lesion uh, was appearing, uh, was avidly enhancing. It was homogeneously, avidly enhancing hyperintense lesion on T2 weighted imaging, and this the, the lesion was extending into the palmar aspect and causing mild scalloping of the distal phalanx of the fourth digit. However, there was no evidence of any bony erosion, and rest of the visualized bones and soft tissues were. Her biopsy was done later on and on biopsy branching vascular channels and aggregates of specialized glomus cells were seen. So it was a confirmed case of glomus tumor. Glomus tumors are also known as glomangiomas. These are benign vascular tumors typically, typically seen at the distal extremities. On imaging they characteristically present as small hypervascular nodules under the fingernail. They should not be confused with paragangliomas, which are sometimes also referred as glomus tumors, but they are different. The, the glomus tumors that present in distal extremities, they classically present in young to middle aged in 4 to 5th decade and they are mainly seen in females. They are multiple very rarely, mostly they are unilateral. Glomus tumors, they account for 1 to 5 percent of the soft tissue tumors in the hand. The patient present with small firm red blue nodule under the fingernail and he or she is having exquisitely it, it is exquisitely painful and it is very sensitive to cold temperature and touch. Sometimes the pain is worse at night. It may disappear when the tonicuit is applied as the applying the tonicuit the vascularity decreases so it may decrease the pain of the patient. May, it may also present with hemorrhage under the nail. There is a sign known as Hildreth sign. And this is the pain relief following the application of tonicuit proximally. And this sign, presence of this sign is considered pathognomic on clinical grounds. These tumors, they originate from the neuromyoarterial plexus, modified smooth muscle cells of the glomus body. And they are thought to be as hamartomas rather than true tumors. There are two main components on microscopy. 
branching vascular channels and aggregates of specialized glomer cells these two main components are seen and these tumors are located approximately located uh, 75% of cases we see in hands predominantly subungual in position on plain radiograph we see the the tumor it is very difficult to see the tumor but we can see any subtle soft tissue density swelling on plain radiograph we may also see some marginated osseous erosion or thinning of the adjacent cortical bone on ultrasound we can see subungual hypoechoic nodular lesion at the region of maximum tenderness on doppler interrogation the lesion will have intense vascularity on mri on t1 weighted it will be low to intermediate signal and on t1 contrast imaging it will show evid contrast enhancement due to high vascularity and on t2 weighted it will show intense high signal so this is a plain x-ray and in plain x-ray we saw we saw a mild scalloping noted at the dorsum of distal cells however we are not appreciating any soft tissue swelling the only thing we can see here is mild scalloping of dorsum of distal cells on mri this is a t1 weighted imaging and in, on this we see a mini uh, the lesion is appearing hypo intense only minimal soft focal soft tissue thickening at the dorsum of distal cells of the index finger is seen and on t2 weighted and pd sequences the lesion is appearing hyper intense the treatment of such lesion is surgical we surgically resect the tumor the differential diagnosis of glomus tumors include hemangiomas epidermal inclusion cyst angiomyomas tenosynovial giant cell tumor and these are references where from where i have taken the data